everybody. It's Mr. C from learningfunforeveryone.com. Today, we're going to learn about the penny rule. Cha ching! Penny rule is a really simple trick when you are working with numbers where you have to borrow across zeros. So for example, your mom, she asks you, she says, Dear Sonny, I need you to go to the grocery and I need you to pick up some bread. I'd like you to pick up some apples. It looks more like a pear, so we get a pear instead. And an orange or two oranges, okay? So you go to the grocery and she gives you ten dollars to spend on this. Well, when you get to the cash register, you realize the total is only four dollars and sixty seven cents. So, being the mathematician you are, you think about it. You say, I have ten dollars and I have the total cost of four dollars and sixty seven cents and I have to subtract that to get the difference to see what's left over. So when I look at this, I say, oh no, I don't have any pennies to take seven pennies from, so I'm gonna have to borrow. So I look over here, oh, there's nothing there. So I need to get some dimes before I can take some pennies. So I look over here to my ones, I don't have any there, but I do have a 10. So I'm gonna look here, I'm gonna take that 10, which is, leaves me nine, take that $1, I break it into 10 dimes. I still don't have any pennies, so I need to borrow one of those dimes, leaving nine dimes and giving me 10 pennies. So 10 minus seven is three. Nine minus six is three. Bring down that decimal. Nine minus four is five. So your mom's expecting you to bring home. You have $5.33. If you want to use the penny rule, you have $10 minus $4.67. And the trick to the penny rule is you have to take a penny from each of them. So this is something you can actually do in your head really quick at the store. So subtract a penny, subtract a penny, which gives you $9.99. And then it gives us $4.66 down here. And I'm going to subtract those two. So 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. Bring down that decimal. 9 minus 4 is 5. And voila, you have a total. Actually, you have a difference, and you have $5.33 left over. So as you can see, your values, your answer is the same. But this one here, you can probably do in your head because you can easily take the penny off of each and then just subtract. All right, so hope you enjoyed that. Pretty simple. Self. Thanks for watching. More little tips and tricks on the way. And as always, as Mr. C would always say, remember, let's make learning fun for everyone. Take care.